Hi everyone at Screw Attack and all the G1s out there. This is what's in my closet. I give you a tour of my room because this is where everything is. This is my TV. These are all my games that I recently play and my systems. I've got down here Nintendo 64. I've got WWF Attitude Wrestling in there. This game sucks, don't buy it. I've got Sega Genesis, so the only game I have for Sega Genesis, which is Sonic 2, and according to the label, it's not for resale. I've got PlayStation 2 in there. I think I have uh, King of Fighters. I'm not really sure. I haven't played PlayStation in a while. Uh, I got my top loading NES 2 there, and with Back to the Future in it, and a Walmart Happy Sticker that I'm afraid to take off because it's a very dirty system I got off eBay. And then I've got my SNES. And inside that is Time Slip, which believe it or not, is not that of a game. I thought it was tech ass, but it's pretty decent. And uh, here's some of my games. Um, more of my more recently played NES games and SNES games and my two lonely Nintendo 64 games. Just a quick pan down of all the games that I got. And just, if you want to go slow mo and watch this, it's a not really anything special or spectacular, nothing really rare or anything like that. Now, these are just more games that I don't have room for that I recently play and enjoy playing for the NES system. So those are those ones there. My Game Boy Advance, I just picked it up tonight. Can't complain, 10 bucks, came with a couple games. Uh, put the games for it there. Let's see what else I got. Oh, back behind the TV here. I've got uh, Sega Game Gear. Believe me, it's in here. I just don't want to take it out because it's a pain in the ass. I said Game Gear, a couple games for that. Uh, Trailer Park Boys movie. Yeah, it's a pretty good movie. I don't know if you guys seen that. If you're Canadian, you better see it. Uh, this is the only item of Pokemon anything that I have because Pokemon sucks. Pokemon Pinball came in a lot of stuff that I bought. Um, got All Star Baseball. I've got uh, F1 Race. Dropping games on the floor. And I got the best game ever, unknown Game Boy game covered with glitter, glitter sparkly glue. That doesn't even work, so I don't know what it is. And a bunch of Game Boys don't work. Uh, that's my dirty clothes pile. And that's my clean clothes pile. Uh, this is my computer. I think fancy or special. Um, I don't know. Tag.com. Uh, some trophies I won for my car and car show stuff. Be crazy in there. That's it. That's all Nintendo and video game stuff. And you see up there, there's more video game stuff. So, let's we'll start searching through all this crap and I'll show you what I got. In this box here is a Echo the Tides of Time game, which inside of it was uh, Sonic. I got it for free somewhere. Random stuff in that box, just some DVDs and whatever. Oh. Stop falling down. Okay. This here, if you can see it, this is a Nintendo storage unit here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the most useless thing going because it doesn't store more than like 12 games. Now, inside this bag here is just full of all those little black protector plastic things, sleeves that goes around all the games there. So, I don't really have a use for all those right now, so they're all there. Now, let's try and pull out this box here into the light so we can see what I got in here. Well, you've got owner's manuals, we've got Game Boy Advance boxes, you've got the mouse pad for Super Nintendo uh, Mario Paint, we've got NES Advantix controller, we have NES huge ass wireless one controller, I've got dispensers for the power glove, I've got Nintendo 64 controller, I've got Sega Genesis controller, i got power supplies, i got more of these big ass arcade controllers, Game Genie books, I've got Nintendo games in here, I've got boxes for Nintendo games in here with games in them, I've got the Power Glove. The reason the Power Glove is in my pocket is because it's the most useless for Hyrule ever, but once again, like Lou says, I love the Power Glove. Okay, I got Zappers, this is pretty much just random crap that's in this box here. So we will pull all this out of the way, and I will step over the box, Ugh, into the closet. And pull out the other box. Oh my goodness, that's just all falling down. Okay, I had to stop the video there for a second because everything started falling down and I started swearing. 
and I hurt myself a bit. So we'll continue on. I moved the stuff out of the closet to make it a little bit easier to uh, get at and stuff so I can show you. So there's that box full of random crap. That's all Nintendo stuff, all Nintendo games, stuff like that. Okay, here's one NES system. Uh, here's another NES system. Here is another NES system. And once again, NES system. To make things a little different, that's the NES system. And another Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, it's right. NES system. This one cost me $5.99 at Value Village. And we got it here. Another NES system. And as you can see down there, there are two more NES systems. All this stuff here is just controllers and power supplies and RF adapters and I got the mouse and radio and all this crap and whatever in here. So that's pretty much it. That's what I've got in my house. Um, my buddy Quinn has one of my NES systems. He's got about 50 games for me there at his house. Uh, my girlfriend's got Super Nintendo with Super Mario World at her house. My brother has an NES system with another 40 games of mine. Uh, my friend Mike he has an NES system with the running pad, the power pad, and a couple big advantage joysticks, about 15 games of mine. I've also got an NES installed in my car with uh, about 15 games out there. So in total, I have about uh, 275 NES games. I have about uh, 15 or 20 uh, Super NES games. I've got three Nintendo 64 games. I have uh, one Sega Genesis game. I have uh, four Game Boy games, I have four Game Boy Advance games, I have three original Game Boys, uh, I don't know how many of those NESs are plus the ones that are in that box and uh, everyone else's house, and uh, I don't know, Game Gear and normal Nintendo and Super Nintendo and whatever, I don't know, I either need a bigger house or I need a bigger closet because it's got to the point where I have to move my clothes out of the closet because I don't have space. So that's pretty much it. So thanks very much for coming into my closet and checking out what I have in my room here. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it because I only injured myself once. So that's always a good sign. So take it easy, Screw Attack, and everyone else who's watching out there. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.